now let's see how to use google login with uh, cognito so for that i found this flowchart on medium you can close all this for now so i found this article uh, on medium and uh, this is the flowchart for the authentication flow when we use google or any other third party identity provider with cognito so what happens is that we uh, are first uh, redirected to cognito uh, login ui either uh, through client or by the backend like we saw in last two three steps last two three sections uh, from cognito page when we click on login page uh, we are uh, redirected to the sign in page of google and in google sign in page uh, we do our uh, authentication at google and in return google returns uh, authorization code to cognito and then cognito again makes call to the google to get access and id token necessary information for user and then cognito uses that uh, information to create user uh, in its own user pool so uh, whatever user which is which we logged in uh, google uh, using its uh, id and access token uh, uh, using its id token only i guess uh, cognito creates a new user in the user pool and then uh, then uh, cognito uh, re returns uh, here at uh, this step cognito then returns authorization code uh, to the client and then client again uses that authorization code with cognito to uh, issue tokens um, which are issued by cognito um, those id and access token are issued by cognito for this let's go and create new user pool and i will create public uh, client email uh, for sign in and sign up and uh, here i will enter uh, some random callback url because uh, all, I, all i need is that uh, authorization code now uh, go to overview in app client uh, we have this client and uh, if we go to login pages right now we have only cognito as uh, uh, identity provider available and uh, we can add google by going to social and external providers add identity provider and then selecting google now we need to add uh, client id for google and secret and scopes so uh, like uh, if we see this diagram we have this cognito client here which is interacting with us similarly we need to create uh, one client at google side also where uh, which will interact with uh, cognito for giving this uh, authorization code and information for that we need uh, to log into google cloud account so for this you don't need to have a paid uh, version even with free account will work so i will search uh, google for client console uh, it's console.cloud.google.com and here i will write auth so url is console.cloud.google.com slash auth and here we need to create new project so i will call it just let's call it cog need to call it to demo and uh, this is a new ui for uh, uh, OAuth client uh, uh, creation uh, if you are seeing old ui you can 
you can just uh, at the top you can just uh, click on show new ui and then this ui will appear so let's go to clients and to create client first i have to set up uh, branding it will take me here i have to enter app name so let's call it demo url i will enter this url it's external audience will be external because we will use it with cognito and uh, again it's asking email i will provide same email finish it create it now after this uh, we should be able to create uh, what client here it's a very here we have option to create what client i will click on it and uh, select application type as web application we'll leave everything default uh, we need here authorized authorized redirect uris so here uh, generally what happens with cognito only when we authorize at cognito authenticate at cognito cognito sends authorization code to us uh, directly but uh, when we are using google as identity provider when we authorize at uh, this uh, google page google will send authorization code in this step number seven to cognito which cognito will use to get details and create user in its own pool so for that we need to add cognitos you uh, cognito user pools domain name here bit domain name bit uh, if i see here register and instruction we'll close this one so under registration instruction we can see it should be your user pool domain name and then what and idp response so slash what slash idp response then we can create it after that we can copy the client id we can copy the secret by editing it and in scope we can pass open id email and profile in user mapping uh, in mapping of attributes so i will map uh, email attribute of google to email attribute of cognito and uh, also i will add uh, verified email uh, it should be somewhere here looks like it's uh, email verified so email verified i will map with email verified attribute of google and then uh, i will create identity provider now we have configured google as a identity provider at user pool level but uh, we still need to configure at client level so i will go to client my public client and then look login pages under login pages i will edit it and here under identity providers i will select google so now we have both cognito and google as identity provider for this uh, particular client and uh, now i will save and uh, hit this button in ui now we can see we have sign in with google button which used to not appear earlier now if i click on this button it took me to google page a uh, google login page and when i select my email then it will ask me that uh, by sharing uh, by continuing i am i agree to share my name email address language and profile pictures and uh, 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 this uh, when we passed email and open id as a scope so over this profile picture language name all this part uh, all this uh, are getting granted because uh, we are passing open id as a scope uh, but for other scopes uh, means google also have other scopes like calendar scope uh, we can see full list of scopes that google accepts so it's like google what scopes there is web page and uh, here we have all scopes 
but for now we just need only this to uh, create user in user pool now once i click on continue according to workflow i am done till here i did the authentication at number six now number seven will happen it happened too fast but number seven will basically go to cognito give a token authorization code cognito will uh, talk to google to get the token and then create a user or if you're already there it will update the user and then uh, will return uh, authorization code to me as a browser means as a user i will see this code which is uh, which is coming from cognito now uh, let's go and see if i got new user yeah i got new user and uh, if i click account is enabled email is verified provider is provider is external provider even new group got created for this which is called uh, automated generated group for users who sign in using google now i have code let's uh, go ahead and uh, Hmm. get tokens for this code so i will open postman and here i guess this is the one grant type authorization client id okay better let's go to that github So this is the command. I have to fill the values. So first thing is code, authorization code. And uh, after that, uh, redirect URI. So authorization code, well, it looks like I pasted wrong authorization code. Uh, not this one. This is the correct authorization code. Uh, redirect URI, which we can find uh, here. Redirect URI and uh, we have to do it quickly before it expires. And we need client ID, client ID here, and then user pool domain. That's what here we have user pool domain. and then let's let's do the post call using postman so i will import import paste the curl import without saving and hit on send here we got id token access token and replace token uh, let's take uh, id token and inspect its content Here. we can see this user is member of this group email is verified username uh, this is cognitive username and uh, we have date created provider we have emails so that's how we can integrate uh, cognito user pool with uh, google as identity provider now we are done with all the OAuth flows and uh, uh, we saw how to implement. Now let's uh, move on to APIs, how to use APIs and SDK with Cognito user pool.